Here is our native population. Here is our native habitat. We as natives feel comfortable in this community that we've been accustomed to for so long. What would happen if an exotic species intruded on our campus? Many people feel that native species are superior to exotic species, and native species take discomfort when something foreign changes the dynamics of their world. Another perception is that once exotics are introduced to a community, they can overpopulate and be out of control. Another perception is that exotic species can be costly to control in a native community. But even though we try to control them, exotic species can benefit us in many ways. And many people don't realize that native species can be just as harmful as exotic species. There is a perception that a native community is balanced, and the introduction of an exotic species will upset the balance. But in reality, what does balanced mean in a world where communities and ecosystems are constantly changing? The zebra mussel is a current example of the controversy concerning the introduction of an exotic species into a native habitat. These organisms have altered the ecosystems of the Mississippi River and the Great Lakes regions. Zebra mussels grow and live on intake pipes, clogging the flow of water, but they also filter water, cleaning the habitat for smallmouth bass and other fish and organisms. Just as the UVA students and VT students are accepting of each other, one day we may accept the zebra mussel as a member of native communities. All communities from the Great Lakes to Virginia Tech's campus experience a constant state of change. Music